In this video, we are going to discuss about controllability and observability. For an automatic test pattern generation system, in order to provide a test for a fault on a node, it must be possible to both control and observe the behavior of the node. There are several measures for controllability and observability. The first one we are going to choose is SCOAP method. That is it is named as Sandia Controllability Observability Analysis Program. There are both theoretical and practical issues involved in making sure that a design doesn't contain buried circuits that are impossible to observe and control as these algorithm helps to measure controllability and observability. So two types of controllability is there one is combination controllability which is classified as uh, zero combination con controllability and uh, next one is uh, one combinational con controllability so this is termed as CC of zero and this is termed as CC of one so next one is sequential controllability first uh, let us discuss about combinational controllability in that uh, subtopic is zero combination controllability so zero combination controllability uh, let us discuss for a two input and gate which is recursively uh, de defined in terms of input controllability value as follows so this controllability value which ranges from zero to zero to infinity okay so if we see the two input and gate you know that the logic of two input and gate is if both the inputs are one if all the inputs are one output is one okay so how to write uh, for uh, um, for zero means you have to consider the output value as zero uh, for the output value of zero so here the minimum um, if any one of the input is one zero output is zero right so you have to write cco of y is equal to minimum of uh, minimum value of uh, cc a of 0 right cc 0 of a comma cc 0 of b okay if any one of the values 0 the output always always 0 right plus 1 we have to add 1 with all the uh, expression right similarly for uh, one combination controllability so this is a uh, formula for one combination controllability cc 1 of y what is cc1 of y cc1 of a plus cc1 of b plus 1 okay this is cc1 of a cc1 of b plus 1 since for only uh, output is 1 for only one uh, input right out of 4 only one uh, for one value only the output is 1 okay so similar way if i want to write it for or gate means how to write it for or gate so uh, you can see for only one input uh, output is zero so cc zero of a plus cc zero of b plus one so this is cc zero of y if i want to write it for one combination controllability if any one of the value is one means if any one of the input is one means output is one so cc one of a comma cc one of b that minimum value plus one okay so if i want to write it for nor gate means uh, you can see uh, this is um, zero is uh, for these two values right um, so you have to what you have to do is uh, you have to take uh, cc zero of a plus cc zero of b comma cc one of a plus cc one of b a minimum value plus one okay similarly for now to write it for uh, cc1 of y cc1 of y minimum value you have to choose cc0 of a plus cc1 of b comma cc0 of b plus cc1 of a plus one okay so similarly you have to write it for the all other gates okay you can write it for all other gates so let us uh, discuss one problem okay so here they have given for NAND gate this is the output for NAND gate so you can write uh, cc0 right cc0 of y is equal to cc1 of a plus cc1 of b plus 1 
and uh, minimum value of if any one of the input is 0 output is uh, 1 ok so cc0 of a comma cc0 of b minimum value plus 1 ok so first you have to this is a diagram they have given logic gates uh, combination circuit they are given so you have to choose uh, cc0 and cc1 as 1 so 1 bar 1 ok this is your minimum value so you have to propagate from input to the output for controllability so in order to get the value of h cc1 of h what is cc1 of h sorry cc0 of h uh, you have to add the value of uh, c and uh, b right c and b order um, cc1 value you have to add so what is this one uh, 2 plus 1 is 3 so this is 3 Similarly, uh, if I want to add it for uh, the minimum value of CC0 of A and uh, CC0 of B is 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay. So, if I want to write it for the um, uh, not gate means A, D, right? 0, 1, 1, 0. So, what is CC1 of D? CC1 of D is equal to CC0 of A plus 1, right? What is CC1 of 0 of D? CC0 of D is equal to CC1 of A plus 1. Okay. So, you have to add 1. So, it will become 2, 2. Right. So, now you can see what is uh, CC0 of A. Uh, 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus, uh, 3 plus 1 is 4. Now, 4. Now, uh, if I want to choose the value minimum value of uh, a and b of c uh, cc0 and cc0 uh, of uh, e and d minimum value is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 ok now you have to write it for y so what is y now y is um, in order to choose the value of uh, 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus uh, 1 is 5 so cc1 of uh, y cc1 of y is minimum value of a minimum value of h minimum value of 0 of h and 3 3 plus uh, 4 so 4 is your answer 5 i bar 4 is your answer so now you have to go for the uh, observability okay so what is observability so you have to go from the input output to the input okay so uh, the minimum value of observability is 0 so you have to go from here to here so i can write uh, c c c o c o of uh, h c o of h is equal to c o of uh, c o of uh, y plus 1 plus c c 1 of c c 1 of g okay this is a formula why uh, if, since it is a NAND gate you have to choose the opposite value ok cc1 of so what is uh, this is 0 plus 1 plus cc1 of uh, g is 2 so answer 3 ok so similarly if you want to have cc of g means co of y plus 1 plus cc1 of cc1 of um, h so what is cc1 of h 0 plus 1 plus 2 so this is also 3 ok so if i want to find the value of uh, c of uh, e c of e is nothing but c o of uh, g plus 1 plus cc1 of d so c of g is 3 plus 1 plus 2 so this is nothing but 6 so similarly c of uh, d c of d is equal to c of g plus 1 plus uh, cc1 of uh, cc1 of e cc1 of e is 1 so you will get 5 
so if i want to get the value of co of a co of a is equal to co of d plus 1 okay so what is the value this is uh, 6 6 Now, if I want to find the value of um, C O of uh, C, C O of C is equal to C O of H plus one plus C C one of B, C C one of B. So this is nothing but uh, three plus one plus one. That is nothing but five. Next, C O of B, C O of B is equal to C O of H plus one plus C C one of C. C C one of C is again this five, right? Three plus one plus uh, five. Sorry, this is F no. This is F and this is uh, So this is 5 now. So you have to choose the minimum value of uh, uh, this one. So answer is uh, 5. Thank you.